What's up y'all? Parker with the Lenny and Parker here. We're going over the rear foot elevated or the RFE split squat. Let's talk about setup before we do anything else. Eleni's going to kick her back foot up on the bench. When she kicks her back foot up, this foot, will you put your other leg up for me Eleni? Thank you. We're going to put that foot flat on the bench, right? Stabbed into the bench. We show them that. But if this is an okay position, some people prefer that. I don't love it because it's rough on your ankle and your hip flexor. So let's go ahead and have your foot fr uh, flat on that bench. Other thing, our support leg. What we want to do, notice how Lenny just hopped in front. That's what we need to do. That support leg needs to be in front of our body, not right underneath. That's going to give us more range, uh, range of motion to drop into. So Lenny's going to go ahead. We're going to get set up. She's going to grab her dumbbells and she's going to show us a few reps. So what she's going to do, she's dropping her back knee down to the ground to the range of motion she has and standing up. So as we do this, she's keeping her upper body just solid, stomach is strong, she's dropping her knee down to the range of motion she has. Don't pull your hip flexor trying to get into deeper range of motion. Eleni, how's this feeling? It's feeling really good. I was wondering if there's a better way to fill my glutes. Yeah, good, great question. So anytime we go upper body over our thighs, we're going to be more glute dominant, just like that. So we're going to keep in that upper body position over your thighs as we come up. You're going to pull that right hip underneath your body at the top. That's going to get a little bit more glute activation. How's that feel? That's great. Okay, Thank cool. You so if you stay yeah. more upright, it'll be more quad dominant. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there you go. That's quad dominant. Cool. Hey, thanks for checking it out. Yeah. Thank you.